my name is Zach. Today I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to tackle chapter 2, chemistry form 5, carbon compounds. Basically, carbon compound can be divided into two, organic and inorganic carbon compounds. Organic carbon compounds are elements that come from living things such as sugar, wood, and even you yourself, a human being. Inorganic carbon compounds are elements that originate from non-living things. For example, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Here are some differences between organic and inorganic carbon compounds where they come from the combustion their molecule size and their solubility organic carbon compounds are what we're going to focus on in this chapter they are alkene alkene and there's alcohol also carboxylic acid and even last but not least ester each of these organic carbon compounds have their own functional group and general formula. As you can see, listed on the screen. For information, functional group are the component or parts of a chemical reaction that changes during that particular reaction. Okay? For an example, um, in a chemical reaction involving alkene the double bond that combines the carbon and carbon will break to form new compounds such as this one being shown right now the same goes for alcohol with hydroxyl OH carboxylic with carboxyl COOH and ester carboxylate O, C, and O. These are all at SPM levels as you are really, really, really advised to get yourself familiarized with this molecular general formula and functional group as it will help you to understand the chapter much better. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'm sorry for some of the troubles in the videos. I'll try to improve it next time. And um, post your questions here on Google Online. Show your friends, like our Facebook page and um, see you next time. Bye.